Hey guys, welcome back. Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so I tried out an experiment that didn't work out as I intended, so I'm going to retry it here. I'm going to use even more white. And this time I'm also going to use some leftover paint here. This is uh, like purple and teal, turquoise and blue kind of stuff in there. So I'm going to use that. I always like to save my paints. And then some blue. Um, and then a little bit of red. The last time red kind of took my painting over. So just a little bit. I think that's good. I'm going to throw in a little bit of copper. And then some black. And I will be doing a tree ring, so I put the white in first intentionally so that I could, um, it would come out last. All right, at this point, I'm going to add a little more white. And then a little more leftover paint here. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> we'll see how this comes out. All right. And then one more thing I am going to do is I'm going to put some white on the canvas before I start pouring. And use that as a base. All right, here we go. Let's see if this comes out how I want it to this time. Okay. I definitely think that will work. There was a little bit of something that came out in the end there. That should not have been in there. Take that out. So just so you guys know what I'm going for on this step is a bit of a, like a night sky. But I want it to be in kind of the tree ring effect. Okay. I'm going to help it to the edges here. Obviously this would be awesome on a circular canvas, but I want it on a square canvas and I don't have a circular canvas anyways. <laughs> so there you go. I think this is going to come out perfect. So this looks horrible at this point, but it's literally just helping it to the edges and then we're going to tilt more. I also have way too much paint on this canvas. It won't dry properly like this. So <laughs> here we go. Okay, I think that's good. It's very interesting. I think due to all the leftover paints that I used, came out definitely unique. Okay, so after careful thought and deliberation, I've determined that the painting should go this way. And we're going to do wet on wet painting here. So this is just a stick and some black paint. You guys know how I love trees. 
So we're going to be throwing in a tree here. Okay. This definitely works better if you run a bit more paint off of the canvas, but it will still come out pretty cool. And I had gotten a specific request from someone for a cat. So we're going to also throw a cat in here. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do this with a stick. At some point I might give up and get out a brush. Also, I'm not sure if this will totally work doing wet on wet. But you know what? Let's give it a go. If I can accomplish this, I will be a master. Nope, we're getting out of paintbrush. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this paint off right there. Cause that's just a little too much. Okay, let's go in here with our black. Once again, let's remove a little paint right here. Okay, so if I wanted it to be very abstract, I would leave it like that. However, here's what we're going to do. I gave it a go doing wet on wet. I have determined it is not working out. So I'm going to leave this, let it dry, and then I'm going to come back when it's, when it's all dry and we'll finish adding in our um, cat <laughs> and the rest of our tree. I do want to put in a couple more branches real quick. What I, why I wanted to do this wet on wet is because I like how the tree branches come out when it's blended with the background there. I personally really like that look. It's definitely a different effect than painting it on afterwards when it's all dry. So that's why I thought I would just give it a go, but there's just too much paint on this canvas. It's not entirely working out as planned. I think I have like the, the Halloween painting bug here. Let's add in a little extra branch, maybe from a nearby tree over here. While we're at it. Cool. Okay, I already did more than intended, so I'm going to leave it. Let's leave this and we'll be back. Okay guys, so we painfully waited for the paint to dry. And now we're going to finish painting in our kitty and our tree. I keep it real simple for the cat, so just a big oval for the body, depending on how big I want the cat to be. And you can make it fatter or skinnier. Make this one a little bigger. Okay, then we'll go ahead and add a little oval up here for the head. Kind of looks like E.T. right now. And then the neck. Just kind of flows into the body. Keep it simple. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. And then the ears. A couple little triangles. 
and the tail. You can add whiskers if you want, um, but realistically, a cat this size, you're not going to see the whiskers. So, because the cat's pretty far away. But it does make for a cute painting to add some whiskers in there. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and continue on with our branches. Okay, I think that's good. You can get what's called endless branch syndrome if you can literally add so many more branches, it's not even funny. So at this point, we're just going to sign it. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.